CrimeView Dashboard's link and relate capability brings the underlying connections in your data alive in Dashboard. In this instance, we're looking at two widgets uh, authored through the link and relate routine. On the left, we see all the crimes in a 28-day period that were cleared by an arrest uh, in that same period. And I just noticed right here uh, several burglaries. So if I want to just view those uh, burglaries cleared by an arrest in the same period, I'm going to select those and take a look at where those occurred uh, across this patrol commands area. Immediately you see one of the burglaries was cleared at an arrest at the same location. The other burglaries cleared by arrests that were kind of clustered in the middle of the patrol commands area. And yet another arrest uh, and burglary pairing occurred here where the arrests occurred well outside of that patrol commands area. So if I'm interested in that uh, particular one and, and I want to ask another question leveraging the link and relate capability, that other question is, let's look at the crimes that were not cleared by arrest uh, in the same period. So these crimes have yet to be cleared. And if I want to look at and compare those burglaries, now we're looking at uh, essentially the same view. We see on the left that burglary that was cleared by an arrest. And we see other burglaries that occurred in that same area in the same 28-day period that have yet to be cleared. If we want to ask additional questions, I'll jump over to analysis mode. While we could have interacted with that data there, uh, we want some of the additional strengths that exist in analysis mode. So here are those same burglaries cleared by arrest. Uh, again, this burglary cleared by arrest from outside the area. If I want to see what those arrests are, uh, it's simply a click away. And I can interact with the arrests themselves if I want the additional detail. Uh, in this instance, what I really want to do is zoom in and take a look at that burglary and look at the uh, other burglaries that occurred in the same area. Uh, this burglary, when we open it up, we see that it is a, a forced entry to residences. And I can quickly browse through uh, interactively looking at and, and seeing that the other burglaries in the area uh, were the same type of burglary. And if we uh, really drill down through our charts and reports capability, we'd find that those burglaries uh, that are not yet cleared actually happened prior to this burglary and, and prior to the warrants uh, that were issued uh, to the two men that were arrested for this burglary. Same kind of burglary, similar area, prior period. Uh, that creates a lot of opportunities for additional analysis and investigative work. But we can also go back and look at, uh, you know, how does this fit into the bigger pattern? We see quite a few uh, burglaries up in uh, the northwest side of the area, away from those that have been cleared by arrest in that 28-day period. And again, interactively, we can simply look at and compare uh, those that were cleared by arrest, those that had not yet been cleared, and then clusters uh, or hotspot mapping of those uh, not cleared by arrest versus the locations of that uh, set that were cleared by arrest. So both investigative level consideration and bigger priority setting consideration uh, all really exposed through the uh, link and relate capability in CrimeView dashboard.